So this past week, a uh, gentleman by the name of Jack LaLanne died, uh, 96 years old. And I can say I was, I was uh, honored to meet him one day. It was about uh, 11 years ago, I guess. And it was down in San Francisco, and I was at a, a fitness convention, which I typically don't <laughs> go to. Uh, but I heard that he was down there. I didn't go just for that, but he was, he was at the convention, and he was, uh, he was repping some product line or something like that. And so he was meeting and greeting people. And I stood in line, like everybody else was. And there were about five or six people in front of me. Finally, I got my, my turn, after all these years having known him uh, from you know, afar and knowing him from, I remember TV, uh, watching him on TV. I remember seeing him on his commercials and whatnot and uh, the chain of athletic uh, uh, fitness uh, gyms that he had a long time ago. So I stood in line and finally got to be my, my time. And I said, hey, Jack, I just want to tell you, I'm you know, in the same business, uh, do a little training up at a place called Seattle. And, and uh, you know, he looked at me straight in the eye. I mean, was, he was, his body was aging. Obviously, he was about 85, 86 at that time. And his eyes very loose with go. And he grabbed me, he gave me the brother handshake, you know. And he, and he looked in my eyes and he said, yeah, that's, that's really great. He said, you know, two things. Always practice what you preach and always tell the truth. And, you know, it sounds cheesy and cornball and all of that, but he was very sincere in, in terms of what he said. And I think that's the thing that struck me about him for all these years is that he didn't really give a shit about what people thought. He knew that exercise was good. He knew, he knew that it helped his life a great deal, paying attention to what he put in his mouth. As he used to say, if God made it, don't eat it. Uh, or if, if, humans, <laughs> if humans made it, don't eat it. If God made it, do eat it. <laughs> and he was right on target talking about you know, the, uh, the downside of processed foods. So he had all his little aphorisms, and he had his cute little jumpsuit on, uh, and he had his chair with his dog happy by his side. I mean, but the guy was way ahead of his time, and he had a following, and he might have been corny, but boy, he believed it. And that's the sincerity uh, of what he talked in, and how he brought it across and made it accessible to people uh, was very much an inspiration to me. So I, I think about that uh, on a regular basis of, of how uh, how important what we do, especially at the club that I have here, uh, what we do for people. So, Jack Lane, God bless you. Uh, I wish you were still around, but you've been lost a lot for people and certainly did a lot for me.